It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Um, you know, I like... I like the fact that it's unique. It's fast. Um, I like the fact that you you can't have a perfect race car here. Uh, I mean, I've I've had some great cars here and been driving away from the field, and I've yet to have what I consider a perfect race car because there's three very unique turns, and you're never going to be great in all three of them. Um, you're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to, as a driver, be able to find a groove that works for your car. You're going to have to to be able to drive a car loose in one end fast and tighten another end fast and I think it puts the driver a lot into it here at Pocono and uh, and I think I've always enjoyed that and, and just the uni uniqueness of the track and the fact that you have to make a lot of compromises you know you can't just have the you know the perfect setup for both turns and just haul butt. Take one more question for Brian and then we'll go to uh, we'll go to Denny we'll release Brian go ahead question here my question is actually for both of them. Brian, you said you're exhausted. You look awfully hot. Denny, no offense, you look like death warmed over. How hot was it out there? Um, how exhausting? And the 500 miles, was that too long for a day like today? Um, well, I tell you, I, uh, I hate to see one of my, my friends and comrades down, but I'm glad to see it too because I am about to fall over. And <laughs> just knowing that I'm not the only one makes me feel a little bit better. I, I mean, it's brutal. I mean, these cars, uh, I don't know what we've got to do as a sport, but... They're hot. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're really... Hot, they're hotter than the old car by far. Oh, I mean, it, double in a way. They're too hot. I mean, NASCAR, and the problem is as a team and as competition, you know, we want to keep the cars light and go fast, but we're, we're killing ourselves. I mean, we're going to the Infield Care Center to get IVs after these races. I mean, that's ridiculous. You know, NASCAR needs to step in and say, we've got to do something to cool these cars down and help us, um, you know, because... It's it is extremely freaking hot out there. And to answer your question, absolutely, 500 miles is way too long for this race. It always has been, and I love Pocono. Um, you know, I enjoy coming here for all the reasons I just told you. But uh, there's no reason to to run 500 miles. Brian, we'll release you. Congratulations. Let me answer that question, and I'll just get your general comments about today's race. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Uh, the, even the first time we got in those, these cars, I think me and Brian were at the very first test uh, at Charlotte, and uh, it was just too hot. I mean, I don't know what the temperature inside the car is, the difference, but these cars are way hotter than the old car. Um, the ventilation's not near as good, even though we have a bigger window, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but um, it, it just does. I, I just think the way that the, uh, the exhaust runs, uh, the way that they, the exhaust has to run in the car, it's closer to the, the floor pane, and that's going to make the car hotter itself. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just uh, this is a long, this is the longest race I think I've ever been a part of for sure. Um, you know, it just uh, it seemed like it took forever, and, and and a lot of that reason is is we never run 500 miles where the average speed is 150 miles, you know, 155 miles an hour while you're running. Um, you know, if we run 500 miles, it's at Atlanta where we're running an average speed of 180. So the race doesn't take near as long. Uh, here, the pace is so slow once once the cars, um, you know, lose time that it just takes forever. And uh, you know, it's just uh, it's just it's tough as uh, on us drivers. And it, I was glad I wasn't the only one either. I, you know, I saw Brian and, and even Junior, you know, needed a needed a second to to breathe. It just, uh, it's just, it's tough. It's we're we're trying to, as as drivers to do everything we can to stay hydrated, but I mean these cars are just way too hot. Just your overall thoughts about today's race and how you thought you came out. Uh, the race was okay for us. Uh, we had uh, a race winning car for one run, and that was about it. Um, you know, we had a second, third place car most of the day, and uh, that's where we ended up. Uh, had a little bit of brake fade there at the end. Um, you know, I, I got to Brian, but as soon as I did, you know, he pulled down right into into my lane, and that's just, I mean, the, the arrow here is just tremendous, and Indy is going to be a handful. I don't know how anyone's going to make a pass at Indianapolis, but um, just with the flat turns like this, uh, these cars with no front downforce, it's just going to be hard to pass, and there was a few passes. Uh, the race at the end was great, which is good for the racing, and uh 
but you know, just a, as a driver, it was a little frustrating. Questions? Questions now for Denny Hammond. Raise your hand. We'll bring you the mic. Who's got a question for Denny? Anyone? Got one right here. If we could bring Bill the mic. Go ahead. Bill Fleischman, Philadelphia Daily News. At Denny, uh, before the race, there was a lot of talk about the repaving between turns uh, two and three. Was that much of an issue today? Uh, just when you would get a big run on a guy, uh, everyone would kind of crowd down there and try to take that lane away from you. Uh, it did make it interesting at times. I did see the 16 and myself were able to pull off a couple slide jobs in turn three. Um, you know, which I'm surprised didn't end up in in any wrecks. But um, it's interesting. I mean, it's uh, it adds another element, I guess you could say, to the racetrack, and um, it's unique for sure to have a, a fast lane way up there like that, and then have an option to go way low if you have to. So um, I like it. Okay. Upstairs now. We got a question for Denny Hamlin upstairs. Go ahead, and we'll come back down. Go ahead. No, I would rather the best car win every week. I mean, that'll never happen. Um, but you know, we're usually on the bad end of you know what you could call the you know the strategy type races. Um, we did. Mike did an excellent job getting us back uh, when we were we had to go back to 40th or so um, to get us back that track position. But it was you know it was tough at times. Every time we pit, you know, some guys would stay out. Some guys would take two tires, four tires, which was interesting because I think that's the only reason you had the passing that you did is if everyone came in and took, took four tires today, there would be a limited amount of passing out there. So with the guys that stayed out and the guys that took two or whatnot that were up front that were a little bit slower than the guys that took four, that's where you were able to see the passing. That's really the only time you did see it. Uh, Danny, you, uh, you obviously had a pretty good year as a rookie here. And you won both. Um, what today the rookies struggled. What what's different about this track that makes it harder on rookies? You think? Um, I really don't know. I I think I think it's just more car stuff it, it, than anything. I think you know we were blessed with a really good car uh, when I came here. Um, so it really made my job easy. And you know, as a rookie, I don't know why. Anybody else, you know, I, you, Carl Edwards did really good his first time. So I, I really don't think that there's any kind of uh, significance to, you know, th these rookies not running as well as ones in the past. Other questions downstairs here for Denny before we let him go. Anybody else? Okay, let's go upstairs. One more, I think. Go ahead. Well, Mike Embry, the NASCAR scene. D Denny, you talked about the heat. Uh, obviously, it was going to be bad today. Was there anything, a uh, difference you could do, change in the cooling system or dump more ice in the car or on pit stops? Did, did you try to do anything to, to uh, combat it from a different way today? No, it was a lot like Texas. Um, it wasn't as bad, of course, when I got out of the car. I was able to stand on my own two feet, but um, it was just... Uh, it doesn't hit you till you get vertical for some reason. Uh, when you're in that race car and you're sitting down, uh, you, I mean, you do notice you start cramping up or, uh, a little bit, but as soon as you get vertical outside of that race car, I mean, it just seems like all the blood comes from, it leaves your head and goes somewhere else. So, um, you know, I, I definitely needed to sit down right there. Uh, everyone did, it looked like. So, um, I don't know, it's just a, it was just a grueling race. This one's a real long one anyway. The temperatures were hot, and we didn't have that good of cooling inside of our race car. The the AC worked fine, but we don't have any kind of driver fans or anything, which was something we need to probably look into in the future. Other questions downstairs before we release Denny? 